Oh my god. Okay, hey guys, what's up? Sarah Safar here. We're back at it with another podcast. Yes! Another my favorite! Another podcast where Brad and I just talk about how I'm lonely and how he's like 260, so. Yeah, I got it. You see my mug here? We ho mug? hope you enjoy it. Because I'm 260, though. Who got you that mug? This is special. It's a special mug. Do you like it? Who got it for you? Do you like it? Yes. Are you jealous? Who got it for you? I'm 260, though. Listen, I also brought this because it's really important because you've been like kind of in a mood lately what is that i don't like it it's intense it's to lower your it's to you know well raise your vibrations. what kind of hippie girls have you been hanging out around yeah. well dude jessa my assistant oh right she's like full on like i'm in the morning like doing yoga and shit type stuff really yeah i'm changing my life that's good finally about time it is about time how come this is not on here what the fuck is going on in here it's okay it's Sylvie's. It's Sylvie's first time thank you um so what's new um, nothing really. What are you doing? I'm trying to fix this shit for some Bro, reason. Bro, what's in the cup? Oh, it's bone broth. Are you doing the fast? Uh, not entirely, but I'm doing, I've been drinking bone broth for the last like couple weeks. Can you get this smoke away from me? No, no, it's good. I have it's asthma. Good. It's not going to do anything to you. <laughs> do you really not liking that? Now we're fixing this. All right, cool. Ooh, much better. You not like the smoke? White bunny, white bunny, white bunny. What's that? What's white bunny, white bunny, white bunny? Isn't it when you're around the campfire and if you say that, the smoke doesn't go towards you anymore? Maybe because you're blowing air out of your... White bunny, white bunny, white bunny. White bunny. <laughs> Stop. I have asthma. Dude, just take the incense in, okay? No, but I'm doing the bone broth thing. So me and Steve got a bet. What's your bet? We got a bet that it's great because this is just... I'm going to win free money if Steve doesn't lie like the scammer he is. Um, That's crazy. He, he messaged me randomly. I was taking... And he goes, yo, what? What? Nothing. That wasn't an important was, part? No, it wasn't that okay, you were well, taking a poop. I just felt like I want to say it. I just want you to know it. And then um, he's like, yo, if I, I'm going to do this bone broth fast. And meaning I'm going to drink just bone broth for the next seven days. First of all, I was like, in my mind, I'm like, why seven days? But whatever. He's got a reason for it. And if I can't do it, I'm going to pay you $100,000. And what I was like, what kind of bet is that? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. You don't have it's to an do anything. Bet. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. Ugh. Just collect money. But I don't think he'd pay. Even if he fucked up, I don't think he'd pay me. He likes to just cap like that. No, he wouldn't. He yeah. would. He's he not a liar. Paying. He ain't paying me. You think he paid me that 100K? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think he's a man of his word. All right, word. if I get the 100K, he's a man of honor? Yeah, okay. man of his word. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. If if I get the 100K, what are we going to spend it on? We? Yeah, we're going to spend it. Because I don't really I don't need that, you know? Oh, okay. What Yo, are we going to spend it on? You did take my advice. What's yours? Is mine. What's no, mine that's is not your, mine. No, I'm just saying this 100K specifically. Okay. Um, What should we buy? Let's just be something for you. I really like, I've been really liking gold jewelry lately. Yeah, we're not going to buy you jewelry. Why? You can borrow? Something. No, let's buy something that's like useful. It's like utility for us or for like people or some good. We not can like, donate it. To who? I feel like, is it just me or is like most like donations just like a f***ing scam? Some, I think, are, but not all of them. So who are we donating to then? Okay, so we could probably donate it to, like, people in need. People in need. Or we can go on Skid Row like and give it out. Like Homeless we can, people homeless in Homeless people, but, like, we can go Why don't buy... We just kick them out of L.A.? The you ever thought people? of that? Yeah. That'd be cool. No, because... Okay, wait. First off, first off, we can go and get, like, bags and then put, like, blankets and, like... Ooh, like gift cards for food and stuff in the bags. And they're mad because it's not money for drugs. Okay, not all of them operate like that. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. But also I was thinking about this the other day. Like I got really sad about seeing this homeless woman and she had children with her. I got so, so like heartbroken by it. I think I was also very emotional that day. But this like hit me differently than usual. Yeah. Um, I saw them out and then I was thinking that, you know, not on the bright side of things, but like at least they're in Southern California where the climate, like at night, it doesn't drop like below freezing. Like some people, homeless people in like New York, like it snows and it freezes at night and throughout the day. But I'm saying here at least like the weather's a little bit more like mild. I think the homeless person income is a little bit higher in LA too. Seriously. What no, are I'm you not saying? No, I'm dead serious. Like it's a, <laughs> listen. There's a real, they did real studies on this kind of stuff, like how much money people just from begging yeah, receive. Yeah. I think it's the highest in LA. Really? Yes. Like there are some people who have a normal job who will, this is 
this is cynical behavior. This is like diabolical. This isn't we'll dress, true. This is true, dude. We'll dress up, bring their kids and go beg for money and make like their, their salary and then make their actual cash. I swear to you, this is real in LA. Really? I mean, yes. I'm sure some twisted person does that, but. I, I feel like they're down here on Ventura, straight up. Really? Yeah. You know what the worst thing homeless people with dogs? That shit gets me fired up. Dogs get you dogs. more fired up than Way children? Way more than children. What's Way wrong more. with you? A lot. Yeah, I can tell. No, if I see someone with kids, I'm like. Why? I don't know, because the kid doesn't have a choice. Dog doesn't have a choice. They're yeah, both but like it, non-choiceable. I'm not, I think maybe the life of a child matters more than the life of a dog. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. To some. <laughs> but not to you? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Yeah. No, I know you. I know I'm the life. Of, I know the life of a child matters more. To it you. does. I'm. But I know. I just hate. Honestly, though, like real, like honest, like all aside. Sometimes, wouldn't you rather see not a child? You'd rather see an adult get hurt than a dog. Oh no, you don't like dogs. You're weird. Then a cat, mm -hmm. fine. Then an animal. No, I'd rather. An, I mean, you'd rather an animal get hurt. I'd like over a human. So, yeah. Yes. For some reason, for me, when I see like a, a an animal get hurt because. It's kind of like a child because it's defenseless. Like a dog getting hurt, it's like, that's fucked up. I'd rather see like an adult get hurt. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I'm sick. Yeah, I think it I is you. Comment section, what do you think? I think they're going to agree with me. That they'd rather see a... a Not a child get no, hurt. No, an adult get hurt yeah. than... Yeah. Because like that should have known better type, you know? The dog's like... Like a dog getting hurt by a human, like they're just like, what? I'm just a dog. Does that make well, sense? I hear you. Like if you're coming from that place, like another human. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. get what you're saying. Whatever. Today, speaking of getting hurt, today you wanted me to fight someone in the gym. Yeah. I wanted you to fight Snaxy. Yeah. that. And it was so funny because I went up to you and I was like, yo, just do the leg sweep. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah. And as soon as you got her down, you ran away and you're like, I'm done. Because, you know, you just drop them and run. You don't wait for her to get back up and f*** you up. <laughs> yeah. You're like, and you're so funny. Afterwards, she was like, dude, if I would have got dropped i would have had everyone delete that footage <laughs> damn right if i were to get my ass whooped on camera that footage is not going anywhere that was the best part yeah that was my favorite part you're serious i'm yeah. so serious my ego cannot but, take that <laughs> but what if and you ever I did can already imagine the comments of that of me getting my ass kicked it going everywhere and be like she acts like she's hot look at her get her ass. but what if you actually ever do like some sort of fight and you do get wrecked i would only do a fight where i knew i'd win Mm. Like, a so like a Jake one. Paul. Yes. Mm. No, it's, I can't throw shade. I don't okay. know about Jake Paul's fights. I don't yeah, know about yeah, that. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, they were saying that, like, his, some people were like, is it set up? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. But I'd only do a fight proudly saying this if it was staged and I knew I'd win because my ego so cannot. So WWE. Take, yes. My ego cannot take an L. Like, I'd rather take no money and get the win instead of take a fat bag and, you know, take the L. Yeah, I get you. You know, I'd rather take publicly, publicly. In private, I'll take the L and get a fat bag. But publicly? Wait, well, who would wait, pay you privately? To, wait, who would pay you to take the L and get a fat bag? That's like some weird sugar daddy shit. That's like some... Who's paying you a ton of money to like take an L? I don't know. I'm just saying if there is anyone oh, out there that who wants to see you wrestle someone in private for a lot of money. <laughs> is basically yeah. what you just said. That's I fucking weird. I don't know. All I'm saying is publicly I can't take an L. I feel like you've been looking for a sugar daddy. C I haven't been looking, but like, but, but like, I'm, here. But like I'm, I'm not opposed to it at this point. After doing taxes and making my own oh, money, yeah. I'm over it. So I do, I do want someone that could provide for me. It's though. crazy. The life of a man. The, yeah. That's what you're doing. What? Well, you're providing for yourself. I know. I'm sick and tired of it. One yeah. year in and I'm over it. God, that's some real. How do but you do it? Are you taking applications <sighs> like give your money to people because no. like i will take it no more applications no more no you got enough of that or what i'm out i'm out all out of apps hmm. it's funny though right it's 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 the what weird if, what if i stopped making money and then like in a few months i was like brad i need 50k are you giving me the 50k what why would you stop making money that's not, that shouldn't be your question i'm just i'm tired of it i i went through something okay depends on the circumstances yeah say i went through something and like i'm just I'm just, I need money. Would you give it to me? Yeah. But then you just keep asking for it? No, maybe every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, 50K specifically? No, 50K the first time around. And the next time, maybe like 200. Yeah. Oh, 
dollars, dollars, dollars. Two hundred dollars. Okay, I was like, whoa. No, like yeah, you, you got. You like it? really needed money. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, then I guess you just got a sugar baby. No, but but like, <laughs> if you just kept being like, dude, I just need money, I'd be like, what the f- is wrong with you? I'm tired of working. Yeah, but and you, this isn't even that hard. I applaud anyone that goes and works nine to five. God. I'm tired of working. What exhausts you, dude? It's it is a lot. It is a it's a weird thing because to everyone it's like, yeah, that shit's so easy. It is easy, relatively speaking. It is easy. Relatively speaking to someone that's going and performing like brain surgery or even other jobs, fighting fires. Like it is easy. Okay? It is easy. It's Don't. very time consumptive. It's it's, it's, it's time always. consuming and it's also mentally consuming because it's all yeah. It's all you think about. It's not like you just go from nine to five and then you don't think about it after. Yeah. It's like kind of 24 seven. That part sucks, but it's easier than I think it's easier than. Yeah. Other there's, jobs. There's a lot of things. It's obviously more challenging. It's, it's just a weird, it's the 24 seven thing where it's like. It's, it's constantly on your mind. Yeah. Well, jobs, you know, you show up, you do a job, you leave, you don't have to keep doing it once you're off the clock or whatever. You're done with the, the day, whatever. Right. You're done with your shift. Yeah. The difference with the whole this whole shit is like it's always because you have to think of what you're doing next. There's no like I'm going to get back on and just do what I'm kind of told or like follow this yeah. guideline. It's just like you have to create it. And every I think day. I think for some people it is relatively easier. I think the people that want to make the most of it and the people that want to really be successful at it, it's kind of 24 seven. Yeah. And the people you who know are just I mean? creative. Yeah. Like if you're just creatively driven, then it, it should be if you could find your niche, then it should be like more easy for you. And then, you know, you have lower times where it's more difficult, like. I've had a hard time lately with just like posting on Instagram. I've been telling you this from the get go. I, I don't know. know what's wrong with you. You don't even take your own advice. Mm-hmm. Literally, I remember you told your advice to me was like, Sarah, post on Instagram. Don't just post stories because you need to post on your feed. That's how you'll grow. That's what you told me. And what do you do? You only post on your stories. You <laughs> never post on your feed. I know. To be honest, it's because how long have you been doing this? How long? Feels like an eternity for real. Like two years, right? <laughs> Not even. Okay, the, the, like my perspective is different. To you, yeah, that's what you got to do. If that's what I wanted to do as well, that's what I would be doing. Yeah. I spent eight years posting every single day, every day. So you're you're like not even two years in, you're kind of burnt. Talk to me in eight. I don't even think you'll be doing it in eight years. No, oh, to, God, to that no, degree. I hope not. Like you might just be like, yo, here I am on a fucking island or your private jet with your fucking sugar daddy. But hmm, that's not nice. <laughs> yeah. It's cool though. I mean, like it makes sense. Like I understand. It's like the more I'm in this industry, the more I'm like, I get why women like to just. Fuck me. I get it too. Now, do you think a w- women's opinions matter? No. Why would those matter? Pins are like you know. What about women with Everyone only fans? Hmm? Hmm? What, what about, about it? a woman with only fans? What about her? Does her like opinion a, matter? I just know women's opinions matter. Oh, nice. I see. Yeah. It. Okay. <laughs> you like the massage? You don't thing? think <laughs> you don't think one opinion matters even less? No, no. I think they all don't matter equal. Equal rights, equal lefts, you know? I'm kidding. Obviously, women's opinions matter. Even though I hope they get clipped up and it's just like, Brad, it's a misogynist. He's so bad. No, of course women's opinions. Why would they not matter? They're very curious. important to like. To some people. Yeah, <laughs> not me, to, but to, to some people. It's like, what are we going to eat? You know? Mm. It's like, What are you cooking for dinner? Yeah, it's like, this Any is what ideas? I'm going to cook. This is what I think we should eat. Mm. Super important. Think about that. You know? We should, should I put these covers on the bed or those covers on the bed? Really important. Who puts covers on the bed? I don't know. People who put, you know, like, and redo the comforter. Oh, 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 the, that's what you're saying. Yeah, like, you like this color, that color. Whatever your opinion is, that's super good. important. Yeah. You know? So only opinions matter when it comes to cooking and cleaning. Yeah, it's like, I got this new cleaning product. Do you like the smell? It's like, whatever your opinion. What if a woman was to give you an opinion on what kind of car you should get? Does that opinion matter? <laughs> What is she going to tell me? What kind of car? She almost made me spit out my bum breath. What is she going to tell me? Like, she's like, like, no, babe, I like the black. Hold on. There are some girls who are like really into cars. Yeah. Who are like super into cars and probably know more than I do. So I'll take their opinion on that. But if they're like, hey, this is what you should do to like get bigger. I'd be like, chill the fuck out. Stop talking for a second. Do you not remember though when you and I used to train together? Two we had good ago, workouts. We had really good workouts. Really good workouts. And not only that, but that's when you were probably in the best shape of your life. Well, it's, it's the truth is. I motivated It's you. not about your opinion in that sense. No, it wasn't your opinion. No, 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 it wasn't. Listen, listen, you did. It was It was just because you were like, despite all the other people who would work out with me, 
a lot of people would just like let me, you know, off. Yeah. And you'd be like, get off your phone, do this set. And it was just the time. You just made me stay within the time. And so it was way better workouts. Thank you. That's true. It's a true statement. So your opinion didn't matter then. That's when it was important. Those were the good days. That's when you were a real gym bro. Like you, do you remember you were really a gym bro? Yeah, I know. And now I'm consumed by all this camera BS. Like, get the right angle, get, do this, let's film this. This yeah. is a good content idea. Remember, remember I told you it would change. Yeah, my workouts don't even hit the same no more. I told you it would change. Sad. I told you from the beginning. What a life you live now. No, I'm grateful. I'm just saying the workouts don't hit the same. That's a fact. Yeah. Did you see the thing uh, about Eminem? No, his new song with Juice World or whatever. No, it was just like. Um, How's Juice World still making songs, bro? Oh, that's <laughs> I don't mean it like that. Well, so so I know you don't I, mean I see like that. a lot of on the clips, a lot of people say I'm really annoying <laughs> and I should shut up. No, it's okay. Juice World made a ton of music before he passed away. Mm-hmm. So they're like releasing like not fully done things. Like they're kind of mixed and mastering things that I think he had already done. Yeah. They're like releasing them with like collabs or putting people together. But yeah. he had a ton of music. I think he no, has I know. like I was I was trolling. I know that it was music he made from prior to his death. Yeah. Rip juice. Yeah, that one of my favorite artists, man. Did you get me a Christmas gift? Yeah. What did you get me? It's a, it's a, I actually <clears> was <throat> happy though that you texted me like Merry Christmas. I try. I'm trying to be better. Did you get me a Christmas gift? Yeah, I did. It's on the way. What's it? What is it? I don't know if you've ever like heard of it. Var, I think people call it. Var. Var. Like what kind of var? Like Anvar. Mm, nope, haven't heard of that. <laughs> 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 all right yeah. cut the crap yo no i got you <laughs> give me some of your personal stash yes nice. no i got you um they're actually coming tomorrow um little people little people there you little go people little people strippers little people strippers yes oh did you really yeah i got you some we should have them on the podcast That's what we should i do. booked them for tomorrow did you really yeah they're coming why? to your house why what, are you serious now yes. what the f- is going on for what you I don't told- want I don't want that. All of a sudden, you don't. You told me the other day that's what you wanted I've never for Christmas. Said that. Never, I would never. I say called that. Bradley. I was like, Bradley, I know, I appreciate you. I feel like I should get you a gift. What do you want for Christmas? And I, the and first thing I said was, he said, "Little people strippers." Little people strippers, men or women. So I got him one of each. Conglomerate of both. <laughs> we like a bunch of them. That's something I would never say. It's kind of disrespectful. To who? To me. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Just is something I would never ask for. It's crazy. You not like that? What? That question thing? No. Okay. And you've said it four times and you keep bringing it up every damn podcast. I don't I know d- what your issue is. If I say I don't like something, stop bringing it up. Fair. Okay, fair. <laughs> you can leave the arguing part in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get fair. All right. <clears throat> wow. Okay. <clears throat> wow. We cut. Kind of, sorry, guys. I had to forgo. I had to cut out what I said. We're going to leave hers and it's fine. Holy. <laughs> wow. That was. You want us in? You gonna chill out a little bit? No, I don't want one okay. of those. Okay. You want one? Yeah, here you go. Here he goes. Perfect. No, don't do that. That's a baseball player right there. Mm. Saw the catch. Yeah. Actually, Speaking of catches. What? Oh, are you talking about the Simone Biles thing? Well, yeah, the whole like, the whole like, the dude's like, I don't know who that chick is. <laughs> Bitch, be funny. for real. It's pretty funny. It's funny. Yeah, he, he did it on purpose, hundred percent. He did. He's like, oh no, nah, she was in me. Up. He was just acting so cocky in that interview. I mean, I didn't watch the whole interview. I watched clips on TikTok, but it took over my <laughs> TikTok page, like to the point that I was like, "Why does this guy think he's so hot compared well, to her?" Describe to me why you think he thought that, just because of the way he was answering, or like the way what he was, was answering, saying. and the way that he was trying in her his answers. He was a little bit trying to put her down while putting himself up. Whoa, classic dude. Classic dude move. Classic narcissism. Classic narcissism, but you don't do it on a podcast when your wife is Simone Biles. Was she? You don't do it, period, to your wife. It doesn't matter who she is. Was she there but with publicly, him? publicly, no. That's why oh. he probably said the stuff he said, too. Acting like hot shit. Shut up. Damn. Do Yo, you think I he sw- got dinner that night? Do you think she cooked him dinner that night? You know what? I think maybe she could have cooked him dinner, but then after she saw maybe all of those TikToks on him, she probably had to second guess it. Damn. Damn, all I'm thinking about is the food. Do you think she cooks good? Is yeah. That f- up? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even she tell see, what's f- up I don't, anymore. No, it's not a f- up. I don't know. Probably she cooks good. Most women do. Most women do? Yeah. Like you? I feel I, like you can cook a mean kebab. 
A kebab, like kebab of rice. Yeah, I know what a kebab and rice is. Are you looking at me weird? <laughs> what? Why are you looking nothing, at me I'm weird? Not say it. Nothing, nothing. Yes, I can. But I'm better at salmon and rice. That's really your go-to, huh? And ground turkey. You have, you know what you should do next time before the pod? Mm-hmm. You should seriously, you can use a kitchen. I'll do c- it. Cook it. And then we eat, we like eat it. I'll eat it and I'll like judge it like live on the can pod. Can I not eat it? No, the, the, the boys, me and Sylvia will eat it. Okay, I was going to do that. Because like you you can't be like, mm, this is so good. It's like you made it. Let <laughs> yeah. us judge you for real. Okay. All right, guys, this video is sponsored by Factor Meals. I love Factored Meals. This very active holiday season, I know how hard it might be to meal prep, um, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So Factor Meals will help you with that. Um, they have chef prepared breakfast, lunch, dinner that you can order. They taste amazing. I love them. I've made them for Bradley before. Yeah, they were good. I had them at the gym. Yeah. They're really good. Well, I'm a chef. What can I say? No, you. they're the chef. Factor yeah, they're the chef. the chef. They cooked it. You, just, I, you heated it up. I poked some holes, heated it up. Super easy. Super easy, but tastes good. Yeah. It's like good. I could have tricked you into making you think I made it. Yeah. If you like took it out of the packaging and put it on yeah, the plate. Yeah, it was maybe, really Maybe. Potentially. Yeah. All right, guys. So if you guys are trying to check it out, Go there right now, factormeals.com slash mommy daddy talk 50. Put in code mommy daddy talk 50 to get 50% off your order right now. Let's get back into this podcast. Okay. Wait, what do you think of the Simone Biles thing? What's her husband's name? I don't know. I just know he plays football. See? I don't know. I don't that know. That goes yeah. to show you. Yeah, there, there, you hit him. Damn. What's his name? That's, that, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's super valid because I knew who she was. I didn't know who he was. Yeah. And the whole, uh, but, you're saying the whole thing is like, he's like, yeah, I don't know who this chick is. Yeah. Ironic, she, huh? Like she hit me up. Damn, she hit him up for real, do you think? I mean, it doesn't matter who hit who up, but then you don't diss her on a pod trying to act like you're Wait, almighty. Is that like his girl or like, like. Wife. Oh. They posted like the rings. Oh, that's so much worse. If my man. Oh my God. I, yeah. For some reason, I thought they were just dating. No. Oh my God, they're married. They're engaged at minimum. The rings are posted. Okay. Yeah, that's. What the but fuck? But if my man's got on a pod and was saying like he's the catch and I'm just kind of like he didn't know who I was. I mean, I don't, it doesn't matter if he didn't know who I was. That's actually preferable. But I'm saying like if he was talking about it like he's up here and I'm kind of like here. Like he sunned you. Like he's. That's what it felt like. Damn. He I would her. be. I'd be like. Isn't she like an Olympic gold medalist? Yeah. What the f- That's. Hey. It, whatever city boys up they're up right now they're up right no wrong okay what do you mean city boys what does that mean i don't know it's just the internet term they, i they, know I, girls I, are they uh, they do some shit it's like hey we're up you know <laughs> and then guys it's like we're up down okay you know mm-hmm. no you don't know no. why'd you show up to the gym with a ton of makeup on today let's talk about it guys am i wearing a lot of makeup no not right now not right now Okay, the only difference from right now to then was I had tinted lip gloss on. Oh, really? Uh huh. I didn't it's take anything re- off. It's you look so different with makeup to me. You you're acting like I caked my face. No, no, you didn't. But anything because you never do anything. When you do a little bit, I'm like, who the f- is this? I was saying this earlier, but like sometimes when I'm really not feeling good about myself, like I usually don't feel good about myself, but when I'm really not feeling good about myself. Why you always play like you don't feel good about yourself? Yo, because I don't. Why? I don't know. Some days I'm more insecure than others. About how you look? No, kind of about everything. Mm. About well, everything. Well, after taxes, of course you're going to feel that way. No, not, it's, it like nothing to do with soul taxes. Out. it's nothing to do with taxes. Okay, well, that's how I feel after taxes. Yeah, facts. But I'm saying sometimes I feel a little bit more insecure than other days. And I feel like for me, at least like, covering some of like the under bag eyes or like the blemishes makes me feel like a little bit better damn but i think it's a girl thing i don't think guys can relate to that it's like you know when you're going out and you put on a really good outfit and you kind of feel better about yourself because you feel more confident yeah it was like the first day of school back when you would set like i don't exactly. know if you did that you set your yep. little outfit up and you're With like the new shoes yeah, and everything. everything that's exactly man what. those days were so dope yeah but that's exactly what for me like if i wake up and i'm like like today's like not the day like but, i'm going right back to bed type vibes then i just like a little but what causes you to feel like that not sleeping no 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 i always get 10 hours damn you sleep at 10 hours eight to 10 hours that's, healthy. that's why i'm saying this that's job is healthy. like healthy good in a lot of ways so but what makes you feel fucked up i don't know maybe like it's more mental i think but like i don't know some be days, honest 
I don't know exactly what it is, but some days I just feel like it's going to be a harder day to get through than other days. Mm. And for me, if I look better, then I feel better. It sounds so superficial, but like if I just look a little bit better, like I at least in the morning, it's a routine. You know, I picked out an outfit. I fixed my face a little bit. But is it like the the, the stress is in like, is it how am I going to make content or how like what no, bro, conversations I'm going to have today? Like, no, it's not like that. It's just like. I don't know exactly what it is. I think I need to figure it out. But some days I just wake up and I'm like, today's not going to be the day. Yeah, well, that's super relatable. Yeah. Like, like today's just not it. Like I so badly want to turn that alarm off and like pull the covers over my head and go right back to bed. You felt that way today? Yeah. Oh. I was like, bro, screw today. And I think it's the days that I know I have to make content that I feel like that. I think it's because I really just don't like necessarily sometimes don't love it. Yeah, maybe. But I feel like I need to love it. And I, you know, try to give it 100. I do give it 100 percent when I'm doing it. But it's the process of getting to do it. That's a yeah. little bit hard for me some days more than others. I'm not saying it's rocket science. I'm not trying to sound like someone's like, oh, she's so privileged, this and that. Like, yeah, she doesn't see her privilege. It's just a different type of stress. It's yeah. So because even when you don't mm. feel good, but, you know, like, you know, I had booked Micah for today, like my videographer. I wasn't going to bail on him last minute, whatever. Yeah. I had him booked for today. I was going to sh- I'm going to show up if I ha- if I'm going to spend his time booking it. I'm going to show up. I show up. But before I show up, I was just like not feeling it. So no, I was like, you know what? Like a little bit of makeup. Like, let me put leggings on instead of sweats. Damn. Let's, so like, I did. I showed up and like your whole vibe. Up yes, there. bro. Dude, I, my bad. My bad. I really bad. pulled up like just wearing a little bit of lip gloss. I'm just not and used blush. to it. My bad. And I also had to film like three ads today. Okay. So I wanted to like look a little bit better than usual. And you were like, why is you, why do, why do you look like that? Why you got that lipstick on your face? Like you just don't look good. I, like, of course. I, I, like, wor- I feel bad now. I feel a little bad. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. it's okay. I don't care. I, feel, I, I didn't think at all I was deep like that. It's not that deep. So, okay. I have a question to your, to your point. When, when do you feel really good? Like, or at what point were you like, yo, I really like love this. What, what, what's different then? It's like, a, it's not like I'm in a period where I don't <clears throat> love it. I think it's just some days where I do love it more than other days. And that has to do with, maybe with my self-confidence or the way my body looks or even the, what I ate the day before. Cause that determines like how lean I look or, you know, like how. Yeah. Like so it's all I'm, about how you look. A lot of it is about how I look and Fuck. other parts are about the things I have to do that day or yeah. the things leading up like the whole, you know, I'm making jokes about it, but the taxes really got me f***ed up. Nah, I know. And I keep I talking that. about it every podcast, but it's something I, it's on my mind 24 seven. It's I not know. a joke. I know. It's funny because you think you have money. I have this, the first time I made the million I talked about, it was like, I didn't, I literally had nothing. Once I bought the stuff to pay the tax, I was like, oh, this is a real thing. Yeah. Like I paid millions in taxes and that is the most painful thing, which is mean I made millions of dollars. But at the same time, it's like when you can, you, this is like the first few years of you really making money. This is my first year of making <clears throat> money. real money. Yeah. And then you, you, you think it's like you have this and then the government literally, I mean, people, obviously they, m- most people probably work the nine to five and they get their taxes taken out with the paycheck already. So it's a little yeah. different so it's not re- than that- at the end of the month or at the end of the year, you're like, Oh, they want like, if you made a mill, they basically want $400,000, which is like, that sounds great because you have 600, but it's like, it, in this space, it's weird because you spent all this time to make all this money and it's like, you you just give up what at one point was like everything. Because when I yeah. first made my first million, I was like, oh, what the f-? Like, I really, I, everyone always complained about taxes when I was young and I was like, who cares? Like, you should make money. And then I gave that money up and I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's different. I think when but, you're. But that's why you got to pay employees and shit that's why we talk about the write-offs and all spending yeah i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying to buy it you should salary micah i sell him should you should put him on a salary you should get adp to your business put him on a salary put yourself on a salary do you get a tax break for your stuff you could you could it's you could You're way more so smart I know, but you should just I listen wish, to like, me you could just go in my body for the next like four months i'll just i'm helping you just let me do it for you like we're doing it here like we need to put him on ADP. We need to put give him like his salary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're we're chilling. They're still taking all our money. It's just like it feels a little better. Should I buy a Tesla Model X? Should buy something, yeah. You should buy a car. You could buy a car every year essentially, which is sounds really weird to the people listening, but like you you if you don't do it, then they just take that money. <laughs> like 
You need to lease something. Or you lease? need to buy. I would lease something you could write off the majority, if not all of that lease. But payment. I should lease it probably <clears throat> from the beginning of the year. Either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just start doing. Start thinking like. You gotta start thinking like that. I'm, There's certain cars you could buy that are certain weights. Like you yeah, can buy six thousand pounds. Yeah, you can buy a G wagon. Buy a Tesla Model X. I don't know if that's it is. six thousand pounds. Yeah. It's not six thousand pounds. It is. The Model X is is six thousand pounds. Yeah. You're lying. I swear. I've looked into it. The Model X, X is, is a write off. A hundred percent. One seventy nine section. Yeah. I didn't know it was that heavy. It is the Model X. Oh, I'm gonna go buy that then. I you no. Know, I just said I'm. Oh, I got one. one already on the way. I already ordered it. You, why do you want to be me so bad? Dude, I'm helping you. Yeesh. I know, I know. I'll I get know. the G-Wagon. No, I already had G-Wagon. I don't want that big, dude. We can get matchy t- matching Tessies. That sounds f***ing lame. Sounds I'm, so how, how heavy is the Cybertruck? Because I did order that. Oh, that is also over 6,000. Okay, that's perfect. But yeah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a really weird thing. Like, I never thought it'd be that way. I was just, you know, you hear people talk about it and you're like, yeah, it's okay, that's whatever. And then next thing you know, it's like, damn, they really just take... Like I wrote a four hundred thousand dollar check to the government my first time. Really? Because I owed four hundred like twenty something because I had fees because I didn't pay right away. So I had like late fees for it and like twenty thousand dollars. And I was like, oh, I'm broke now. Cause then I bought a house, I bought other stuff, and I was like, I have no money now. It's weird. It's weird. The making money thing it sounds so cool and it's sick. Of course, it's great. Did you make more than a million that you had to pay four hundred in taxes? Or you made I made a little more than a million. Yeah. But I didn't ha- I had like no write offs. It was just all going to me. And then I had no right. I have employees. I have nothing. I was. It was like my first million. This was years and years ago. Back when I was like twenty six. How much you make now? I'm uh, pocket watching. <clears throat> more, but I pay a lot more. But then it's why you have to. You have to hire people. Like you should hire an assistant. You should. You know. You start doing that kind of. Shit. I want Jessa. Nah. I want your assistant. That bitch is mine. She's great. Yeah, She's but- ours. But you. You should. You know. Oh, could I? Could you what? Throw a little extra bread. Have her work for me. Yeah, you could. You could. You could. But I'm saying you got to set up ADP through your company. You know what? You know what I'm talking about this too, by the way, guys? I'm, I know it's like we're kind of like side conversation, but it's actually really important because I saw people were mentioning, they were like, you should they talk more, more about tax. taxes. Yeah. Because people don't understand. I don't think they get it. No, because a they lot don't of people, teach you this in school, bro. Yeah. And a lot of people want to have an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial entrepreneur. life and yeah. they want to do it. So it's... God, it's like such a weird thing though, because it, it really is. As you make more, you just you get caught in this like I have to just keep doing this, otherwise. There's just so many tax laws, and every time I think about it, it my heart gets it starts to race a little bit, and I get in a really bad mood. Yeah, well, and I think is, lately part of the reason I have been feeling the ways I've been feeling like a little down that's been on the back of my mind constantly. Yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the biggest like. There's no fix to this because like you just have to you have to deal with it. Otherwise, you're gonna f- Wesley Snipes it and end up in f- jail. I think I'd rather. Be in jail than do my taxes. I swear it's just to God. Like Wesley Snipes, dude, the guy from Blade. The guy was dope. He 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 knew what it was. He's in jail now. No, he got out now. Well, how he long did he go time. in jail for? I don't know. I just I know he had some time because he like full on <sighs> tax evasion. Then if I actually what? I'm kind of down. No. Well, not evasion. I'm just not going to do it. That's evasion. Really? Yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to cheat or lie. I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, that's that's a that's that's. I'm amazing. gonna say I'm just gonna be like no. Thank she you. evaded taxes. I'm gonna say no, thank you. Maybe Sarah next year. Sarah Safari. Yeah, yeah. Then they'll be like, cool. We'll just we'll just tack on all these fees, and then we'll collect it all next year. No, I'll just be like, oh, not not for the next few years, bro. And they'll be like, oh, you don't have it. Okay. Jail. Yeah. And then I go to jail, and then what? Um. Then you go to jail, and you still have to pay taxes. I go to the. I go to jail. I don't try to drop the soap, and I come out fine. They'll just lever, like all the money you then start making. They just take it from your <gasps> bank account. That's when I become a sugar baby. <sighs> Dude, honestly, it's not such. A, I mean, I feel like that could work for you. No, you could pull I that off. I don't think I can with my personality. I think they have to be a little submissive. I think maybe I'm like too like manly and aggressive. Yeah. Like he can't like, pull that off. Then he'd be like, he'd be like, make me a dinner. I'd be like, get up and do it yourself. Yeah, you ain't pulling yeah. it off then. Damn, dude. Why not just like low, you know, like yeah, I need to just no, I'm gonna I chill to just, out a little bit. Maybe I have to take like anxiety medicine. No, no, you sound like a full on American right now. Bro, I like, know. I've been dude, like medicine. <laughs> dude, talk about <clears throat> American. My fucking cat is the most oh, I told you guys last week, didn't I? That this has been taking anxiety medicine. Why are you giving your cat anxiety medicine? I don't know, because it was peeing on the bed. I think I talked about this. Yeah, but stop doing that. Don't do that. Don't give it medicine? No, dude. I'm not trying to have it pee on my bed. Also, though, I am Bob the Builder, bro. Wife me up. I may not be able to cook you dinner, but I can build a damn door. I built you, a door. You built a door? What, you bought yes. a door from Home Depot and you put it in? Mm-hmm. 
Because you didn't build the door out of wood. No, not out of wood. But like I ordered it and like I put that. You, you screwed I put the that fucking yep, bolts in. And I put that together. Damn, what else can you do? I can work around the house. What else can you do? I can do a lot. I've mounted a TV before. <laughs> Bro, that's hilarious. <laughs> what? I've mounted a TV. That's, uh, that's with, fine. With a level a and leveler? everything. Wow. Yeah. Guess who mounted that TV? Who? Me. No, you didn't. Yes, I, I know did. you had yes, some did. guy. Swear I to God. That. Yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> dude, I mounted that TV. I also mounted the TV over here in my right. little recovery room. That's what you need. You need more recovery in your life. I'm what recovered. are you doing for recovery? I'm recovered. What are you doing for your mental health? I don't have any mental. I actually do have mental health <clears throat> problems. The other day, yesterday actually, I was sitting in the car with my friends. And I think I realized I do have sensory issues. Sensory issues. Like if people are like touching me yeah that's all i think about and i get really really angry from like the inside of my like <laughs> like from the inside of my stomach you do be snapping yeah and then if someone's like talking and like their spit is like moving a certain way in their mouth i get really really angry whoa <laughs> like from the inside it's no so but American. the sensory issues thing like really 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 does bother me from the inside of my like core it riles me up yeah, I, I notice there's things, certain things like you like you flip. Yeah, like I, I can't even control it. And I try to control it. Like I'm like, all right, I'm going to be good this time. Like this time when someone's like touching my arm, like their arm's touching my arm, I'm going to be chill. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm going to be chill. Can you stop? Yeah, that's, like, that's I just, you. That's yeah, you. It's bad. You do that to me. Not like the touching thing, but like you do. There, You have moments where you like snap and I'm like. Oh, this bitch is mad. Yeah. There is something genuinely wrong with me that I need to fix. Because it's not okay that the way I snap at people is not okay. Yeah, you do be snapping. That's what I was going to say. I was starting this whole little conversation because why don't you just set up some things that are like actually like just more meditative moments. Like meditate. Like actually set up time. You're like, yo, 20 minutes. I'm just going to do this or do nothing. That's you been helping You think I have me. 20 minutes just waste like you that? You do. You do. Exactly. That's the thing you do. You do. <laughs> like do it first thing in the morning. I can't. I have to post on Instagram first thing in the morning. <laughs> you're right. Nine o'clock. Yeah. I wake Nine up to, to my time. We're going off to post. Dude, that's why you're going crazy. That's a part of it. I like, swear. Literally, guys, if you follow me on Instagram, four or five days out of the week, 9 a.m., I wake up to post on Instagram. I know you do. You got to keep doing it. You got a few more years. And hours from 9 to 12 at night, I'm usually posting those Snapchats. So I, I usually know. go to bed around 1230, wake up at 9. So I get that eight and a half, nine hours. Wake up at night, post on Instagram. Maybe you should Snap. take a little break. No. A little break. All gas, no breaks, bro, for real. Dude, you know what I saw the other day? I saw people are people are doing this now. They're buying likes on Instagram. People have been doing that. I'm I not- know, but I'm seeing it like crazy. I'm seeing it to where like, yo, I look at someone's reels, how many views they got. Listen, someone got like, let's say randomly, 300,000 views, 350,000 likes. That's not true. I saw. Who? I'll show it to you, bro. This shit tripped me. The I was okay. like, whoa, people so are really. Don't play the audio because people are gonna know. Who no, I'm is. not gonna play it, but I'll just show it to you. <clears throat> Interesting, but I think it's because it was an ad. No, but it doesn't matter. Like you they can't, boost. Oh. You, you can't get you can't get that many views and get that. That it doesn't many even make likes. Sense. That's crazy. It doesn't even make sense. No, I have like not even that many people saw it to like it. Yeah. So I like I've been noticing that lately on Instagram. I'm like, what the fuck are people? People are buying likes and comments that's crazy is it a write-off i mean it's probably a business i'm expense. about to start doing <laughs> that <laughs> like, this i'm gonna start taking pictures no. of walls and no I'm, i have to admit something to you about that on instagram buying likes i have okay. to admit something like actually it's been eating away at me okay when i was younger <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck is this going dude when i was like in like high school okay, okay. I remember like, oh, like it's so cool to have like a lot of likes on your Instagram pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. In high school, I don't do this anymore. I did. You bought likes? In high school. How? No, I wouldn't buy likes, but I remember there was this app that if you'd like other people's pictures, they'd like yours back. So you oh. didn't physically have to pay. Oh, that sounds like back in the day, people used to do that kind of shit. Back in the day. Like it was like, this was probably... 10 years ago. So how many likes did you get? Not a lot. Like at the time, maybe like a hundred. I'd be like, yes. And prior you'd be in what, like two? Yeah. No, like I'd be at like 40 and I'd get it up to a hundred and I'd feel like a bad bitch. 
Damn. I, I don't do this are. anymore. I just wanted to admit it to you guys. Like, but people are doing it because like it's brand deals and shit. Yeah. People are doing it and they're finessing fucking companies for yeah, money. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't. Did I just ruin my own reputation by saying that? I don't do it anymore. No, no. It, I can show the statistics. No, I statistics. know. You, I know you. I've seen your numbers. Yeah. I know you're not buying likes, but I've just been noticing that lately. Yeah. In this, specifically in the fitness industry, it's weird. Yeah, people be doing it. Crazy. Buying views and likes because then a brand will offer you more. But that never made sense to me because a brand will always ask for the analytics and your analytics don't match up with your like count. Yeah, well, I think it's a it's a well that's going to run dry. Yeah. Eventually where they'll be like, yo, there's no conversion here. Yeah. And they'll move on to something else. Yeah. So it's not sustainable. It's not, bro. There's no quick ways to. Bro, I'm so up on crypto right now. Holy fuck. Let me fuck. see. This is just one of my accounts. <laughs> the look on your face is hilarious. Wait, what crypto is that? <laughs> Wait, how do I do that? I got. I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Oh, don't you shut up! Don't say that. No, shut the fuck up. Yo, yo, I'm good at it. I'm good at this shit, dude. You are taking applications for sugar babies. No, I'm not, dude. Bro, I'm, not. I'm yo, done stop, trying to like stop. pay for my own meals when we go out. You're like, shit. where's Brad at? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's that's dude. I'm good at this. It's crazy because it's all just the the crazy thing about the in, like the internet and just like crypto or just even stocks. It's all just like reading data and reading information. When do you have time to do that? At night. I used to, you know, it used to be my jerk off time. I don't jerk off anymore. No, real. I stopped jerking off. It's been time. I know what I talked about it before. It's been almost like two years now. Can I work with your financial guy? Uh, that's not who's doing this. Oh. But can I'm I doing work this. with him? We'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Hold on. Let's wow, get that's amazing. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. I do all right. I should, you know what I should start? I should start like one of those scammy groups where I'm like, join my <laughs> hey, Telegram join group. Join my Discord for yeah. 1099 yeah. to get all the... <laughs> I'll, start sc I'll be like scamming people. Like for no, because I actually wouldn't scam because I actually get good calls and shit. I actually make good money. Maybe you should do it then. I should. Dude, oh, no, I'm not going to shit on people. Oh, I've helped so many people who don't deserve it, man. You're the, probably the only person that really deserves it. Thank you. Really? Yeah. You deserve it. Thanks. You deserve it, too. Damn. You deserve the world. Wow. That's, that's really like, sweet. Like, for real. Do you, realize, like do you realize Zoo <gasps> Culture has been open for eight years? Eight years. Wait, the old one was open for eight? The old one was open for seven. Seven. This one will now be open for a year on January 13th. So Zoo Culture's been open for eight years. That's crazy. I'm proud of that. Yo, you really got that up and starting right after you kind of like- Blew up. Right yeah. Yes. Yeah. You were on top of it. You've always been a business guy. Yeah. I wish, and I, it's so hard now, like obviously the things I wish I could go back and change and do things differently, but I wish I got started expanding them sooner because, but I was so caught up in still making content that I couldn't, yeah. you know, I couldn't like- show up here and figure out exactly how to get the gym done there as well and whatever. But I wish, I wish I was like quicker to open up more. So yeah. And they're working on that now, but you know, I wish it was, I wish I was doing it like five years ago. Yeah, I know. But you know, there's other, you know, you don't know what could have happened if you had done it five years ago. I feel like now this is perfect timing. Yeah, for sure. Now I got better partners. Yeah. Aw, look yeah. at us having a wholesome moment. Let's no, high five. Ooh, 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 let's, let's touch, high five. Let's touch hands. Wow, what a moment. Why are you... Ooh, that was weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you kind of make the effort too? Like, what, are, um, what are we doing? Just touch him. Ooh. Nice. Wow, that was so sweet. My dog is angry at something. Hold on. Probably at you for not feeding it and abusing no, it. What? Don't you ever say that guy to reckless No, I feed them. That mother eats so much food. He eats Bro. more than me. Not possible. What do you think it means if someone likes your story? What do I think it means? Someone yeah, if likes someone like likes your story on Instagram. Who likes your story? No one. I feel like you... everyone likes your story. That's what people no, do. No, but like the heart. Okay. You know, like if like they probably want your attention. Okay, so that's what it means. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's get my reaction. No, there actually wasn't anyone. Oh, I no mine. One, there's no so many of them. There's so many of them that like you can't like. There's no one that I would know. You know. So then why'd you ask that? I was just curious because I saw like, oh, I have likes on my story. What does it mean to you if someone likes the story? Because I also think like if you like a story, it means like, yo, DM me. Yeah, it's trying to get your you know, attention. Get the, yeah. yeah. 
No, you don't have to worry. No one's DMing me. Jeez. I ain't worry about shit. I know no one's DMing you. <laughs> They're like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, you're not. You Roman haven't seen Empire. that on TikTok? Like, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? I think about it, like every 20 minutes. Think Sylvie, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Yeah. I think about how the... Th Never? I think about the fact that like men has to have used to have to like murder each other like like pretty much I don't know once a week they had to go fight yeah. wow. and now we're so f lame now you're a true man is that what it is is that what it, it no means? it's just like it shows like how often you know how girls say like this is my Roman Empire like this is how often I think about like something religiously I don't know. I'm just like I just I'm just we're so f lame now yeah, because like I don't think women t think about the Roman Empire as much as men think about the Roman. I'm Empire. just like I just imagine like dudes have to they used to have to hold big ass swords and swing them at other dudes and kill them or be killed and lose their everything. Like it's just one of the craziest yeah. things to me. And now we're just like we're on social media like oh, let's yeah. argue about everything. <laughs> like it's Fact. just the internet now, and that's another thing. Like what what the f is going on now where it's like everyone just talks about like men and women and like division and even the shit i talked about earlier like the racism everything is just all just further dividing people yeah there's no like unity of people no the f going on i don't know maybe how you do we to fix, fix it. it how do we fix it? i'm trying i think you could i could single-handedly I, I, I think i can do it i think i need like the avengers i need i need tate i need who would be like the dream team tate musk um we got to get someone from the liberal side otherwise they won't listen to a single word we say so uh Gavin Newsom because he's kind of trying to change it up a little oh, bit because he's going to run for presidency eventually. So he's like kind of being like maybe Gavin. And he's like you know I don't know or you can have my man who Obama. Obama, Oof. maybe we need to fix it though. How do we fix it? Do you think, think it can, can be fixed? No, I don't think anything's ever going to be fixed. Yeah, I think the world's going to end soon. <sighs> How many years? I was talking to Dana about this. Not not Dana White, Dana Lynn Bailey. Oh. I think 50 to 100. I think fucking, I don't know about N, but I think in the next 10, it's going to be like some. It's gonna in happen. the next 10? Some is going to happen. Really? Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't age well. I think it's going to age well. Something terrible. I think terrible, I mean, terrible things are happening now. Oh my God, the war. Yeah, like, really terrible things are happening now. But I think within 10, terrible shit's going to happen where like this fantasy land that america the western world is in it's going to actually affect this place which is interesting because it's like it's always just everywhere no you're else. right the world has been ending forever so the question is like when does it get real spicy it's been real spicy do you think it's gonna get real spicy over here i think in less than 10 i see what you're saying in the western world when yeah. will it get really because it's all we it's all f got it it's not really happening. I mean, it is, but it's like, it's it's all like, oh, we're going to send this over there. And, you know, something's going to happen here eventually. It has to. Which is, you know, I don't want to say scary, but it's interesting. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're just like, I'm trying to find a sugar daddy. And no, I... Take me on trips. I don't want him to do anything with me, actually, physically. I just want him to send me money. I don't so, want him, I don't want to see him. I don't want to. That's not how this contract works, but why? That's not how it works. I feel like for some people, I don't Sky know. Bree, dude, I was motivated by Skybreeze's story for real. No, no. Yes, she you was going to just send you money. Yeah, her but she's money. sending him things that are you comfortable? What sending? What is she sending him? I don't know pictures and videos. No, she's not. Is she? I think that's how it works. I think it's. What oh she's no, doing. I don't want to do that. He's gonna no. be like, bust it open for me on camera. Send it to. That's. I mean, how else you get the money for free? I don't know. I thought maybe he was just like nice or mm. something and didn't want anything in return. Oh, he's a guy. I should have known better. They always want something yeah. in return. Dude, I was having this conversation actually about like just the idea of men and women and what they expect in like relationships and like off bat. Do you think men see a woman and they're like, we can make a great, we would have a great relationship together. Like, how do you think men approach women? I think there's different types of men. I think there's a guy that looks for a good time, something that's not very long lasting. And I think there's the type of guy that's like, I think she would be a really good wife. I think she'd be a really good mother to my children. I think she'd be mm -hmm. like all of these things. Like, I think she'd be a great friend to me. Like she'd support me. Yeah. She would check all these boxes and she'd also, you know, be a good mother to my future children. But do you, th what do you think the first thought is? First thought a man has when he sees a woman 
obviously it's surface level yeah. to some extent because you either if you're on a dating app you see your pictures right it's yeah. all it's all based on looks Which, by the if way instagram's a dating app yeah instagram's a dating app for sure yeah or if um you know you're out at a bar he doesn't know you know what your jokes are like or he doesn't know what your personality is like or he doesn't know what your love language is all he knows is what you look like at the bar yeah. and he comes up to you so it's, yeah 100 percent. it's all based off looks so unless yeah. like somehow you know I mean, there's circumstances that like don't factor into this thing that we're talking about. But most of the time, the reason a guy goes up to a girl or a girl goes up to a guy is based off looks or like maybe she likes what you're wearing or maybe she has the same shoes that you have. But somehow it's all based off something superficial. Yeah, I just I just think that's really because like, it, I don't know, maybe it's do do women think that men are going to be like, oh, no, I really want to get to know this person like off rip. Do you ever think that like guys are like, cause I just, the answer is what you just said. People are super superficial. I think men and women both go like looks. A hundred percent. Some then, of these women are crazy, bro. And then everything else comes next. Yeah. In some order, depending on what the person. I think it's based off worthy. looks. And then after that, you kind of decipher, you know, can I take this girl serious? Can I take this guy serious? Or is it yeah. kind of just like a fling? Yeah. I I'm, willing, I'm willing to bet. This is the one that's going to f people up relation i don't know it's gonna be a lot of shit. i don't even give a fuck. um i think men don't decide if they want to be with a woman until they have sex with them you've said this before and i don't yeah agree with that why not because there's a lot of people that you know follow whether it's certain religion or set of beliefs that wait until marriage yeah some yeah and yeah then, some you're saying like a lot actually a lot of religions that's what it says in the book Mm -hmm. in their book right um so i'm sure there's a lot of people that follow those maybe not in the circles we're running in but a lot of people do follow those i still those think, set of values i still think though they in their mind they know okay do i like you either like it and you go okay con continue this or not so you're saying if you know after they get married or whatever and what religion are you talking about because there's some religions they just have multiple women which is like yeah then that just negates any of those problems if they were to be problem. Yourself? I'm not. What am I? What am I? Bro, even like in Christianity, you're supposed to wait till marriage. Premarital ma premarital sex is a yeah. sin. I understand that. How often does that actually happen? I'm saying in the circles we're running in, it probably happens not that often. But I think outside of the whole L.A. scene, both people follow these set of values. You think so? I think so. Yes. Hmm. Really? Yes. And it's not just in it's in other. I think it's. I don't, I'm not that educated with all the religions, but it's nearly in every religion that premarital, premarital sex is a sin or, you know, like you should wait till marriage to have sex with the person. Yeah. I'm not saying that those things aren't real. I'm saying that I still believe men determine whether or not like this is obviously it's on a scale, right? I think they're it, how, how important they determine the sexual like prowess or relationship is like on a scale of how much they care about it. Like, meaning like they care, it's, it's an important thing and they'll determine, okay, like all these other things. Yeah. Once you get to know someone, how valuable you find these other things. But I think off rip, I think that's something that men will go. I think you're wrong, Bradley. I think some guys are the way that you're saying it, but not all guys are like that. Really? It does not all matter based off I'm not how, saying that, how the intercourse is I'm or not if saying, you're willing to give it up or whatever. I'm not saying that's the only thing that matters. I'm saying that, let's no, say for example. No, but you're saying that deciphers a lot of things. Let's say, for example, you th I love this. I think, for example, women are like, oh, I'm going to spend all this time with this person. Let's say you spent five months with someone before you had sex with them, right? And you, you realize, oh, this person, they like this, they like this. All those things do matter, yes. If you have sex with someone, you go, in your mind, you go, could I do this for a long time? You're going to consider that right away. Listen, I'm not saying, hold on. No, but this is a very like Western man type I, of idea. I, don't, I think this is all men. This is not all men though. Listen, hold on. We're I'm not, not religious. I just don't think it's a big thing. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But, but I, I think I'm also maybe, maybe I am part of the people that like, I'm not, not saying, the big part. I'm not saying that all the other things, like how well you communicate, like is this person, like do they match your vibe and all these other things that are important to you? Like, I think all those things are re really, really important. I'm not saying none of that matters. I'm not saying none of that weighs or has an effect on like the idea of can this last? No, but you're saying the intercourse can make it or break it. For some, I do believe so, yeah. I believe so. <laughs> I believe, I believe like some, it's, it's just is what it is. It's not like 
it's that's the end of the world. Just some people prefer certain things or some people like have a certain expectation. And like, I'm not saying that's just like, oh, this is this is so garbage or whatever. And I'm just going to leave this because all these other things could also be really good that they're like, OK, well, all these other things are also really important. And I also value all these other things. But I'm I'm just saying that I think men do typically act in the way where they go, OK, I love all this other stuff. Could I see myself doing this, though? Because if you're talking about a relationship for a long time, you go, how, how long could I like? You're not going to be like, oh, I'll do this for six years or five years and then I won't like it. But I think you do weigh men do weigh like how important and how like much they like that into that relationship more heavily than like a lot of other things. Just straight up. I'm not saying it's it's like it's not a good or a bad thing. It just is a thing. I just like, I like seeing your reaction to this. It's funny. Because all the other stuff you're saying absolutely matters and absolutely is important. I don't know. I just. You just what? I don't want to believe that. Okay. Maybe that's what it is. It's just because like. Well, but it's not Because it sounds so like. Yeah, yeah. It sounds fucked up. It sounds so like crappy that I don't want that to be the case. Like I, I like refuse to believe that. Because for me, that's like not even in the equation of whether yeah. I like someone. is not that, that. Or yeah. anything like that. It's like like what their intent is or like how they treat their mother or like how they treat the people around yeah. them or, you know, how good they are at communicating or all that stuff does matter. Yeah. But I'm saying for me, it's like the other, the stuff you're talking about doesn't even matter I at all. It. I hear it. But that's your, your, woman. that's my, that's yeah. Me. You're a woman. Yeah. But to know, I feel like for some women it's different. So some women, yeah, I think some women are also more on the side of that. What I'm speaking what you're to. saying. And some some women are. And I'm saying that maybe some men are more on the side that what I'm saying than what you're saying. To, to a degree, I think. I'm hoping that some men out there don't really... Comment. Let us know. I want to know. And don't just glaze me. Like, if I'm if there's yeah. really no men out there, like, maybe I need to switch teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, don't no, even no. glaze me and be like, oh, I'll, no, I'm that is... person. I genuinely want to know. I'm not saying, like, all the other shit doesn't matter. It absolutely does matter. But I'm saying all of the other stuff makes you, like like the person or be in love with the person or be so infatuated with the person yes. that, you know, that kind of outweighs that. Kind of, kind of. I think I there's know. a baseline. There's just a baseline of what every, and obviously every man, every person is just very different on like how like. Yeah, everyone's different. How much this matters or not. But I just think men have okay. that just innately. There's a, there's a importance, more importance they lay, they lay on that than, you know. Yeah. I, I guess maybe I'm just hoping that like, I hear what you're saying. You know, that's you. Yeah. I'm just hoping there's people that don't care about Let's, that. I want to see what the what the boys think. I want to see. Because they're going to be good. They're going to they're gonna tell the truth. I YouTube feel, comments never lie. Yeah, they don't. They don't lie. But also maybe some guys, because of this whole masculine energy thing, maybe some guys aren't as okay with saying, yeah, sex doesn't matter to me. As, you know, as opposed to them saying, yes, it matters to me. You know? What do you mean? Say that again? Because I feel like maybe it's not very masculine of you to be like, oh, no, like, I don't care about sex. Like, I don't care. I don't care how good it is or I don't care, whatever. Oh, you think like, because of that? I don't even look all that. I just want the genuine answer. I know, but I'm saying maybe I don't know. You think they're, they're publicly gonna, like, voting. They're you publicly think saying they're going to like gas it up to be like, oh, I don't care about sex. Cause, no, I think they're going to gas it up. And like, obviously, that matters. Sarah, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I, we'll I, see. I don't care. I'm standing on my business. Stand on it. Yeah, I'm standing on it. I don't care. No, there's nothing wrong with it. There's, there's okay. no, none of this is like, there's like, this is exactly the way. It's just, I just always had this fun, this interesting perspective. I, I think, think if true. you and the person can have a good time grocery shopping, you're meant to be together. Dude, I'm not saying you're wrong. It's being together is different than like, you not, know. You're not meant to be together. But if you guys can have a good time grocery shopping. Man. I mean, if you have a good time doing anything. Anything, yeah. I think that's like very, very important. And yeah. also being able to communicate is the most important thing. It is. Communication's big on me. And then for men, it's like. Yo, was that good though? Communication, yeah. It's f***ed, huh? I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. You think maybe like this podcast is some of the reason that I scare like men away from me? It's like literally spraying myself with men repellent. How? Because of the dumb, not the dumb, but the, not, it's not dumb to me because it's what I think or what I believe, but the stuff I say. Well, what are you saying that's that's not even, you're you're siding on like the sweet, I'm the sweet girl and all this other, that sounds, as a guy, I'd be like, oh, she's great. No, but I'm like, Stay away. Like, I don't want to do that kind of stuff with you. Like, maybe that kind of stuff. Oh, like, the prude. 
let's not like give it a negative stigma. Sorry, sorry. The the non sexual sexual stuff. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. You I, think I'm, that scares I, people away. I don't think. I don't think so. Don't I think. think so? I think if anything, if you're talking about like probably the guy you'd be into would probably be like he'd be like, oh, I'm gonna f- prove you know. At least I think. Oh. I think the guy like Why? the guy. What type of guys do you think I'm into? I think you'd like a guy that'd be more like submissive uh, like okay that's fine yeah well wait. you're not that that scares them away to be honest with you okay, okay. <laughs> i think that scares them away <laughs> no not I submissive think, but nice no nice, okay that's nice, that nice that nice, nice is good i sometimes mix up the two I meant yeah nice. i think a, i don't know maybe what do you think my type is uh like if you could build a guy for me like build a bear build it because um, you know me pretty well yeah and you've given me really good advice with men before yeah i think you are very like not super superficial you're not super like judgmental about how someone looks i i know i think it's somewhat important but it really doesn't seem like it's the most important thing it seems like you're not like oh they have to be super tall and this and that i don't think you're that kind of girl yeah at all so i mean it could be someone who's like caring and actually loving and genuine and all that it sounds like you you want like the fairy tale guy yeah where's he at though in a fairy tale <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he doesn't exist no, he doesn't exist. He's not real. No, there, there's obviously there's guys out there that are much sweeter. But if you, I, I don't know. I, I for some reason when you say you want a guy who's submissive, that's when I think that's also not really the guy no, you want. I don't. I don't think yeah. I do. I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right that I don't want someone that's super submissive. But I want him to at least make it seem like my opinion matters. Well, your opinion does matter. You just need someone that's going to challenge you a little bit. I'm saying personality traits. And yeah, those are. You're even hard to find the like, I mean, I'll settle for six foot, six figures and nice and stuff. But like I'm I'm cutting <laughs> <That's> settling. <laughs> like I'll cut out the six foot and the and the six figures. The yeah. sixes can go. Damn. The sixes can go. Just I wonder if that's really what you want though. I don't know. Do you have like anyone that you think, you know? I have someone in mind. Do you? Who is it? Whisper it to me. Whisper it. Here. No, I can't whisper it to you. Come on. <laughs> Text it to no. me. Who is it? Is someone I know? Yeah. Oh my God. Text it to me. Text it to me. Come on, just I just get my reaction. It'll be funny. Your reaction's not gonna be positive. No, no, no. Come on. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. I was not expecting that. What the <laughs> Whoa. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, what do you think? Uh I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's hilarious how's that funny it just it's just a weird it's a weird tr- uh, yeah. transpire of event it's just weird yeah that's interesting i don't know yeah i don't know i didn't expect that though damn that's funny. <laughs> oh right. my god dude i'll just mark him off huh i'll just mark him off then no i you do do your thing i need your approval do your thing, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know well enough. I, I can't. Mm. I don't have like, yo, this is what I. Mm. I don't know enough, you know. That's funny. Damn, I was not expecting. That. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> nice, yeah. I'm, I'm self aware. Dude, my favorite pods are the ones where like it becomes like therapy for you. Yeah, this is therapy for yeah, me. Yeah, it's okay. Can you like lead me in the right way, maybe? I'm trying. Also, whenever we get clipped on TikTok, the comments are always negative about me. Am I annoying on this podcast? No. Why are they negative about you? I don't know. They're like, this is annoying. Shut the fuck up. So I'm like, maybe I should. Well, it's probably. Psych. Be- <laughs> it's No, don't don't stop. It's probably because we have a male dominant audience who probably yeah. watches the clips and they're probably like. This is annoying. You're a girl. Yeah. You know? So I'm not saying that means they should say you're annoying, but I think like your perspective is always different, different. than theirs. Yeah. Which some but people, that's why this works. Absolutely. That's why it's a good podcast. I think it's yeah. important. That's the whole point. Like it's, it shouldn't be just like, if you were just another bro, then we're just all broing out about bro shit and we're all saying the same shit. Yeah. It's not. It's no, not cool No, I look cool forward to our podcast. It is like therapy for me. It's good. I like talking to you about things. I can't believe it. Imagine when you fi- actually do find a guy. It'll be interesting. It'll be beautiful. Yeah, I wonder if I do, if he'd be like, Yo, like, why are you and Brad like so close? Like, why, <laughs> why are you guys making a podcast? Yeah. No, like, I don't why do you guys have a podcast called Mommy and Daddy? I don't think he'd care. I think he'd know. He'd he'd have already known, obviously, leading into it at this point. Yeah, you know, it's not like it's not weird. I yeah, I so. hope you know. If, you know. 
Why? I'd, I'd keep my I'd keep my friend before I kept my boyfriend. You know, wow. if he was like, "Yo, you got to cut off." Cut dad, him off. I'd be like, "Yo." But that would be weird. If you like said if, that, yeah, that'd yeah. be weird. It'd be also like, what? Because you've been doing it. Yeah. It'd be like. You know, if you were going to start it and then he's like, yo, that makes you uncomfortable, maybe you understand Maybe I understand. More. Yeah, but if he just comes into my life and he's like, stop doing this with Brad, I'm like, yeah. why don't you just, well, how about you eat a dick? <laughs> how about you eat a dick? <laughs> no, that, I always find it interesting how like people will come into people's lives and then want to change. Try to change. dictate things? Yeah. And I think that happens in relationships that maybe people aren't ready for. Yeah. Like change this, change that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'd be asking people to change too. But yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe I'm not ready. Yeah. I'm like, yo, why you follow all these thoughts on Instagram? Like, for what? Unfollow them. <laughs> for real. Why you need to look at half-naked women, uh, including myself? But why you need to look at girls in bikinis on well, your Instagram Well, that's how they feed? found you. Maybe that's how they found you. Damn. Won't happen again, though. <laughs> Unfollow <true>. them. <laughs> girls yeah, are crazy. Girls are crazy. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, most girls think like 95% of girls think like this. Even if she's not admitting it to you, she's thinking like this. Have you agree or disagree? Yeah, for sure. They're thinking yeah. like that. Definitely. I get so upset. Why though? I get so upset. Even with you as a friend, I'm like, bro, you can like other people's pictures, but not mine. Like, why? I don't like anyone's shit. Yeah, I know. Anyone's shit. I like your shit though, recently. Sometimes. Honestly. Sometimes. Just not when it's. Yeah, you got my feet dangling, hanging. Your feet dangling? Like, whoo, doo, doo, doo. like they, I did it last time, remember? Like my feet were swinging. That's when Oh, because you got the like? Yeah, when I got the Bradley Martin like. I used to dream about that day. That's crazy. What a weird thing. Yeah, for real. So in the Discord, people are saying, when are you going to start streaming? And oh. you did, and you did steal my computer. So when are you going to yeah, start streaming? Yeah, Bradley gave me a tower. I hope it works. I bought a power cord for it. It'll work. It turns you, on. Yeah, you need, you just need the keyboard and you need a mouse. And I you have that stuff. You have a I, need, I need a monitor. You but I have the keyboard mouse. You need a, a picture, a like picture. You need a f webcam type thing. Okay. Or we can get one of these cameras. There Perfect. you go. So it'll write off. Yeah, I'm going to start streaming next year. Okay. 2024. I'm going to do it too. Yo, we should stream together. Let's do it. I feel like. Like I a desktop stream. Yes, like Call of Duty. Yeah. Like the same way where like I see other clips of other people like just talking together on, on Discord. It's on Discord, yeah. We could do that easily and people care about, some people care about us. Some, some. Some do. A little, like a, a few. A few. Seven or eight, at least. At least seven yeah, or eight. Yeah, at least seven or eight. I care about you. That that matters. Do you care about me? Ma yeah, what you said in reverse. Say it back. What you said What's in wrong with you? you I'm, actually, just, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Just of course say it I back. care about you. I just, it's trolly. It's funny. It's funny. You don't think it's funny? We'll stream. Okay. But yeah, I gave her, I gifted her a computer. It was a nice, it's a nice computer. It's a really nice computer. Yeah. It's like bougie. It's yeah. one of those, it's the tower for a computer, like one of those super expensive ones. And I was like, finally, after all this time, like waiting for Brad to like. Yeah. Like, consider that your Christmas present. Oh, okay. Yeah, I where's love mine? Huh? Christmas present. I brought you those fake tits to the gym today. That was for your vlog. They were for you to motorboat and enjoy. The fake tits, dude. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck about that. Then I'll find something else. Yeah, you gotta find me something else. I will take. I'll, um, I'll just buy you a bunch of Zins. I'll take it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, fuck. Ugh. So, yeah, start streaming. We'll start streaming Yo, in the new year. I'll and you start, start trying too. to put together that speed <clears throat> dating show. That'd be really funny. Okay. If I pulled up here and have Jessa work on it, be like, what if I pulled up here next week and there was just like How, a so, line? So, okay, we'll do it. What kind of guys? Like some gym guys, some non-gym guys? What's the deal here? Yeah, please. Like maybe some people, maybe some gym guys, maybe some people that have a, uh, maybe some CPAs, like some people that have like accounting jobs that can help Some accountants? Me. That's funny. <laughs> maybe some okay. accountants, maybe some like business owners, maybe some people that work at like a grocery store, like people of all like types. Like an array. Like an array of people. Like if you go to McDonald's and you think the workers- Maybe like, a fan. Maybe a fan, like, yeah. Okay, we, I want to get one of them. I, we need at least one of them. Okay, sure. Gotta, that's going to be tough to a find. A supporter, though. not a fan. A well, it's someone who watches the content. Yeah, yeah someone Fuck who the watches the content. Fuck the word fan, content. just someone who's like watching the content. Because people hit me up like legit. They'll be like, yo, like when I was doing the Christmas thing, like, I, you know, everyone always comes for free zoo culture every year to the gym. And someone was like, I'll come. Can you, is Sarah going to be there? Like, I want to train. Can you put in a good word? So people do ask about you. So maybe I pick one Thank of you. them. Yeah, maybe. That would be Maybe some people from Zoo, maybe some people, like people that I don't know. Because the people I know, 
Ain't that good of people. So, okay. And you have to help me. That's fine. You have to help me think of some questions that we'll ask them in yeah. regards to what you like want. Yeah. Okay. I'd be like, maybe a situation. Okay. Like six people. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Speed um, dating with Sarah Safari. That would, that would bang. Yeah, that would. Didn't you do that kind of before? I feel like you did a dating thing. I did. It was when I first had started social media. It was the four fun guys. Have you heard of them? Four mm. fun. Anyways, I'm friends with one of them from way back when. And he he was like, come on, like this, you know, 100 dates, like under 60 seconds. It was just one of those things like you're in a studio and it's like, yes, no, yes, no. Yeah. It was one of those. Like it wasn't anything serious. And this guy, one that had like the world world's largest croc collection, like he was like a super geek. It was so cute. You picked the crocs guy. Yeah. He was so yeah. funny. He had like long. Did you actually want to date with him? No, and he had glasses. He was he was so cute, like so wholesome. I wanted to pinch his cheeks. But you didn't actually want to. But date. I didn't actually go on a date with him. Oh. This one, this one, will you actually go on a date with him? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. okay. I don't know. I get scared. What do you get scared of? Rejection. Rejection. <laughs> well, it's like they're coming to try Yo, to date you. You know what you, I though. am? Really quick before you end, you know what I am scared of with people though. What? Friendships, relationships that they're gonna get tired of me. Oh, that's fucking deep. I feel like I'm the type that's like super like fun, exciting. I have the good banter in the beginning, and then all of a sudden, like you wake up and you're like, "Yo, I'm not jacking her anymore." Jacking her? Like I'm not like not jack. No, I'm like I'm not with her anymore. Okay, jacking her. That threw me off. I was like, "What the?" I didn't mean it like that. I meant okay. like, "Yo, I'm not with her anymore." Yeah, we, I'm not jacking with her anymore. Jacking her anymore. I yeah, think that's a thing. I, Maybe I just okay, sound whatever. like Jack and all. I was just like a weird okay, thing. Like, I don't but think like, they're jacking you. I'm scared off. they'll wake up and they'll be like, "Yo, I'm they're not. Just, with you I'm anymore. not rocking with her anymore." Yeah, I think a lot of people feel that way about everything that they do, you know, in relationships in general. But that's a whole other conversation. We'll have another time. That's that's deep though. That's like really deep. That's something you should you should work on. Work think about. Not necessarily work on like something you need to change, but figure out why you feel that way about things. Because that's a self deprecating thing where you're like am i not good enough type thing i know i'm good enough it's not about me it's not me not being good enough i know i'm good enough i'm scared that they'll get tired of me the first because stage of their is issues. denial no 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 i'm scared they'll get tired of me like after a set period of time not because i'm like all of a sudden not fun enough or whatever yeah i'm great yeah good yo i'm gonna go home cry. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo we gotta do this ad we gotta do this ad Okay, uh, sign <laughs> off. She's like crying. Okay, every Thursday, 11. Uh, we love you guys, Mommy Daddy Talk. Sorry, Sarah, she's had to vent a little bit today, but it's good. It's good for us. We needed that. So see you guys next week. We love you. Okay, let's shoot the ads.